Bigger picture, it's climate change. Great lakes flood ravages homes and roads. You've probably seen some of these headlines that the Great Lakes are flooding homes due to climate change. I can tell you this is nothing further from the truth. Because back in 2007, 2005, 2006, there were articles around the world claiming that the Great Lakes were disappearing. And climate change was to blame. It, they were dwindling away because of global warming, heating the air and evaporating the water. Read every one of the articles, total articles, based on no scientific information at all. If you actually do about one hour worth of research on Great Lakes water data and water levels, you're going to find that, first of all, the lake levels are highly variable and that they almost always directly coincide with the sun. Every time there is a solar minimum, we have high levels. When there are solar max periods, we get low levels. But no one is willing to even look at the data because they have an agenda. Climate change is lowering the Great Lakes water levels. And that today, it's raising the Great Lakes water levels. As early as 2013, climate change was lowering the water levels. And now in 2019, it's raising the water levels. Because remember, climate change does everything. Because it's not based on science, it's based on propaganda. This is a great uh, blog in 2017. Lake Superior drying up due to climate change? No, no, wait. <laughs> Come read uh, just some of the headlines here. Climate change and variability drive low water levels on the Great Lakes. But what? It, how is it driving the high water levels now? Just a few short years ago, we were told Lake Superior was drying up, and now it's flooding. Already the high lake level is sinking fixed stocks and causing problems. Why is Lake Superior's water level so high? It's climate change. <laughs> climate change is also lowering the Great Lakes, according to the National Resource Defense Council. And according to a climate expert, Dick Durbin, we are seeing in global warming the evaporation of our Great Lakes. But that's not what we're seeing. That's not what we're seeing. The, the lake levels are at all-time highs. So someone is lying. And it's most likely the mainstream media and the scientists that are funded by the multinational corporations to scare you. That's what it is. Uh, we're going to look at some water level data from since the Dalton Minimum. Now, what we're going to look at here in this graph is... First, let's look at the ancient lake, the shorelines here. See down there? And then they've been all the way up here. There's some geologic evidence that the lakes change all the time. And here is all the data from 1860 to 2010. And you can actually see that most of the lakes were dropping off slightly, but almost none of them have uh, any linear trend. But they do have a nice multi-decadal oscillation, similar to that in our oceans. And they do have a shorter scale decadal motion, which is very similar to the solar cycles. And later, well, actually in just a moment, we're going to line these up. Here's a better data set that goes to 2016, showing absolutely no trend in any of the Great Lakes water levels. But what it does show is that they're highly variable. Like Lake Ontario can go as high as 75.8 feet and as low as 73 feet, changing several feet. Michigan and Huron, all the lakes do the same. And since 2013, they've been all trending up, up, and away. As since they hit a low, which was caused by climate change. But now they're at record highs. And where is the explanation for that? And we're going to get to some of the facts on lake level fluctuations, which you can find from government resources. The very same people that lie to you about the uh, reason these lake levels are shifting. 
they have the data and we're what we're pulling up is the high resolution data right here hopefully it will load yep here it is and so i'm going to leave you the great lakes dashboard and with this you can glean all of the data you can see every single year all the way up to present and as far as the official doctrine, and I support this, is that fluctuations in the Great Lakes water levels have occurred continually since the Great Lakes formed at the end of the last ice age. Lake levels can affect the extent of shoreline erosion and shoreline property damage, riparian interests, including beach widths and public access, dredging and shipping, construction of marinas and other water-dependent facilities. At vigorous gauge stations around these lakes since 18 at various gauge stations around the lake since 1860, the monthly average lake levels uh, fluctuate up to five feet, but there is no linear trend. So this dashboard is amazing because what you can do is go all the way back here to let's say 1880, and let's take it all the way up to present here to 2020. It looks like this data set starts in 1915, so let's go up there. There it is. There is all the Great Lakes water data, all of it, live. And you can see it's been rising since 2013, quite vigorously. Been rising since 2013. At the same time, the sun has been shutting down since 2013. And now we have high lake levels at a solar minimum. Back in 1964, there was a big low in lake levels. Right here at the highest solar max in cycle 19. There was the lowest level, lowest levels of the Great Lakes, highest levels. Are you picking it up? Let's check out another high point here. Right here, back in 52. 1952, we're at the solar minimum here, cycle 18. Dropping down and dropping down and drying up those lakes or raising the water levels. And what's raising the water levels, you say? Cosmic rays increase as we go down. They decrease as we go up. Cosmic rays nucleate clouds and cause more rain as we go down and less rain as we go up globally just like the data shows. How about the 1930 spike? I wonder if it was the solar minimum. It was a max, cycle 16. Look at that. So it doesn't always line up. There are other variabilities here. That 1930 spike was quite, uh, quite obvious. But here we are... And what you can see is an obvious upward trend, just like any other upward trends from 64 all the way up to 73. Let's look at 64 to 73. That's this entire drop down, 64 to 73. Boom, solar minimum. 1913 to present, boom, solar minimum, grand solar minimum. So this is nothing to do with you. Look at the variability. It has everything to do with the sun. And this has been fun. I hope you got something out of the video. Spend some time here at the dashboard. Check out what's going on with the lakes. Check out the solar graph. You come up with your own conclusions. Subscribe to the channel. Share this with like-minded people. And don't believe the hype. It's a sequel. Be safe.